Blended learning is the process of implementing multiple facets and it kind of blends traditional learning along with online. So teachers can still employ the traditional model where the teacher is at the front of the class, whole group instruction, but blended learning also allows a teacher to kind of branch out a little bit and use a different platform to ensure that students have access to a rich, viable curriculum to help meet the needs of students. One of the perks of blended learning and doing rotations is the ability to interact with more students and to be on that more personal level with them. Even if sometimes when you have a small group, when you're in the small group, you're able to talk and be with your students more. It changes their way of learning. It's not just a routine. It always keeps it fresh and helps the students like, uh, stay active and look forward to future learning and classes. I use blended learning to do innovation and creativity in my content area of mathematics in which I give expectations of behavior, but I don't give directions so that the students have the independence to go different pathways to solve the problem at hand, and I leave the questions more open-ended so there isn't a specific path they have to take. The most fun, honestly, it'd have to be designing. I really like being able to have like that technology at my fingers to like edit a picture or do some drawing or outlining. Like I just really like being able to design, and thanks to technology and blended learning, it just generally helps me a lot. <laughs> In our advanced math program, we have used a rotation model to help with the blended learning. Um, each of the rotation does personalize their learning as in uh, we have a computer station, we have a interactive gaming uh, station, and a teacher-led station. So those really customize to the students and it uh, personalize to their pace and it gives them um, an opportunity to really slow down and understand each of the concepts. So for me, as an eighth grade special education teacher, it gives me the opportunity to provide different types of modalities that I'm able to incorporate for my small classroom sizes. I'm able to pinpoint with my small class sizes who needs help, where. So with that, I'm able to kind of tailor my individual lessons for those specific kids. Maybe some are struggling more. Maybe I can put the ones that are stronger in a different group, self-led administrators and teachers to be willing to play a little bit and be able to, to um, just think about what we could be doing differently to engage the students and challenge them. Living learning helped me become a more independent learner because when I was in robotics class after school, uh, I didn't like the way they coded it for the controller, so I, I had to focus more on my code and see if I made a mistake. I use um, blended learning to become more of an independent student and you know person on campus by using all the different apps that are supplied to me. For example, uh, PowerPoint. You know, there you can insert pictures, hyperlinks, and all types of different things to really get to know a person or get to know the topic that they are talking about. Allow the teachers to do it. I think it can be a little scary at first because it's a new way to teach the kids different concepts, but have them just try it. You might fail the first time, it's okay, but encourage the staff to do it because it really does impact the kids. 